<coughs> Welcome on my presentation, creating best experiences for you and your customers. Um, well, this will be a mixture of a little bit of project management, marketing, things like I do when I create a service for my customer. And I try to show it in a way that all of the, the different people in Joomla community may get something from it. Uh, do we have any strict marketing specialists here? It's like selling and developing is later. First is selling, yes? <clears throat> I have this, uh, well, maybe in a strange, but uh, I'm a bit um, uh, of a, not of a fan of marketing, but I thought my presentation is not from development, not from integrating things. It's more like uh, a soft way to show how different ideas incorporate into creating a good product or service. So, well, marketing. Uh, <clears throat> this is the plan for today from me. A little bit of uh, the beginning, and then why even talk about it? Why not just do our job? And I like this saying, like, now stop talking, start doing. This is great, but sometimes you need to talk a little bit. Uh, so, well, we are talking. Modeling ideas when you are, oh, hello. When you are just preparing to, you know, to contribute to the market, to get a customer, to get some job done, uh, people are different. This is a bit of, uh, let's say, psychological stuff. Um, this is really great because I heard at least three presentations which were about these areas, which I'm going to talk about too. Um, <clears throat> and the grind is the... It's like, um, apart from my other presentation from Joomla Day in Poland, where I talked about this implementation of Joomla in one of my biggest customers. And I would like to share some thoughts, some uh, things were going on during this implementation. <clears throat> so a little bit about me. I'm an easygoing person. Sometimes a bit, well, I'm in like a mixture of people uh, sometimes I'm a bit um, closed, introvert, but sometimes, mm, for example, during, say, parties, but not, not only, I get to be more open, more, more like socializing. Uh, generally, I like, you know, that, oh, you don't see that much, but it's like army style, heavy metal, punk style dressing and things like that. Uh, but sometimes I get uh, <clears throat> the strange feeling that something's wrong. This is the main idea why I decided to talk about, um, let's say, managing projects and marketing and creating best experiences. Sometimes just things make me totally mad. When I encounter a service uh, which doesn't work, doesn't answer my expectations, no, I, I get furious. I well, I'm that kind of person who would call the company and tell them what I think about them. <clears throat> of course, they have the, those helplines. You have to wait, etc. But when I uh, let's say rethink my attitude, I always try to write a, a wonderful email explaining what is wrong with their customer experience or customer support or their product. So this is just me. Two sides. <clears throat> so I design things, let's say uh, user interfaces and w complete websites, um, a lot of different stuff for marketing, let's say printed marketing as well. Um, and I'm a soft developer, soft, I always uh, say I'm not a programmer. I read code, I can make some changes, but I will never try to argue with any of the hard programmers or the leaders of core Joomla developers, etc. <coughs> Oops, wrong button. And okay, uh, I used to be a teacher, that's why I am close to education. When I implement a system, I try to give this additional info, maybe uh, some schooling to my customer. 
And uh, let's say for the last two, three years, I've been really close to the idea of user experience and everything I can get from this idea to, in order to make better products, better services to my customers. And uh, currently I'm working at uh, um, Gdańsk University of Technology uh, in Gdańsk. And my side project is Webastyczny. Uh, this is like my freelancing part where I do 80% um, of my job there is Joomla, implementing Joomla, and also CMS made simple. A very nice small CMS. And one of my biggest clients is Gdańska Fundacja Oświatowa. This is a, <clears throat> a company which has three great, great in, in um, let's say, size and in quality set of schools in uh, Trójmiasto region. And uh, at the moment I'm living in Warsaw. But it's like, no, I do business around the whole uh, Poland. Um, in the present, uh, in the past, uh, it was um, a hosting company. I did a little, a little bit of translations uh, and things like that. And uh, when it comes to the community, I uh, talked um, at Joomla Day 2013, Poland and 14. And I'm also a co uh, let's say, organizer of Joomla User Group Warsaw, Warsaw. <coughs> Okay, this presentation is for people like me, uh, so implementators, people who do some freelancing, maybe on the side. Hello. Um, Joomla services builders, so companies like template clubs or maybe extension developers, everyone who is not that directly connected with the core, but let's say uh, does everything around it. Uh, core developers, so maybe some hard programmers will think more in this uh, human attitude towards developing stuff. And everyone else who would like to, you know, see how we do it and how I try to do it in my country. Uh, a lot of ideas here are like very hot ideas in Poland where we try to uh, do, uh, let's say, the internet. Uh, the, the modern, uh, the Western maybe way, uh, the way it should be done. Let's say maybe it's, maybe it's a wrong um, kind of uh, wording because well, you just do universal things and best things for your users. <coughs> so different people, different branches. We all try to create best experiences for our users. Yes, what is experience? Well, you are experiencing something now. You are experiencing me, uh, the presentation, uh, let's say the light, yes, the, the environment, uh, you breathe, the air, this is all a kind of experience. <clears throat> and we can talk about experiences on different layers, uh, different kinds of experience. You can talk about product experience, you can have customer experience and, and things like that. I will come back to it in a second. <clears throat> uh, most of the ideas in my presentation are like um, created by me with the use of, let's say, common knowledge. So it's, so it's the way I try to do it. So it doesn't mean it's the only way or it's the, the proper way. But it's like I figured it out and if you're ready to have some tips for me or maybe you get something from these ideas, then we can discuss them. Okay, so the main question is like, why talk about it? Let's just go and do it. And as I said earlier, it's, it's great to do things, but sometimes you need to plan, you need to think about how to start something, etc. And this is where come uh, presentations like my presentation. And for me personally, uh, the main reason to talk about it or talk about talking how to do things is simply being a better person at what I am doing. So if I'm a Joomla freelancer, I want to be the best I can be so that my customers have this trust in me and know that I'm doing what I know what to do, etc. Uh, for, uh, let's say, for the tasks of life. Yes, this is kind of um, 
an attitude where you want to improve the world. Yeah? So things have to be done. Let's do them the best way we can do them. And for the people, uh, so the people who are at the end of, of this whole chain from core development uh, through extensions and then integrators and implementators uh, do everything, pack everything up so that there is a, this service or some product. For example, I'm a Joomla freelancer. My product is a website. Yes, so I want to be the best I can be, have great tools because people have different tasks to do, and in the end, everything will be perfect. Yes, like we're looking at the perfect uh, image, but trying our best to you know, get there. <clears throat> so modeling ideas. Uh, modeling ideas is like the first step when you try to figure something out, how something should be done. And there are these, uh, let's say, in my opinion, there are two cases of, let's say, UX development or a development based on user experience ideas and everything from this presentation. This is like implanting something completely new and then you do research, market research, user research, or changing things. So you have something already done, already set, but there are problems. This is the idea of uh, people having problems in general. <clears throat> So you either create a new thing or solve a problem. Well, new thing can be solving a problem too, yes? So it's, well, solving problems in general. Uh, of course, marketing says uh, about things like 4P, um, product placement, promotion, uh, production, and we know this, the SWOT analysis and things like that. <laughs> I'm not a marketing specialist, that's why I won't be talking about all that. I'll be talking about something more connected, I guess. I use it so, it, well, maybe this is a good idea. Some more connected with uh, developing a product. Um, there is this idea of user-centered design. And this is all the, the modeling, so let's say the preliminary stage, where you think not about a product, so let's say, Oh, we need an app to, which would be nice and, and uh, incredible because it would do something great. Yes, so, some vague idea. So user-centered uh, design or let's say approach will not talk about the product itself, the end product, but it will uh, be talking about people, their needs, goals, and tools they need to achieve their goals. And there are three, let's say, stages. So analysis and strategy, where you think, okay, where's the problem? So see, this is the problem solving in general. So where's the problem? Or maybe there needs to, something needs to be done from the scratch or maybe improved. So there's this deep analysis, what's wrong? You can do research, you can do, uh, as I said, market research, you can have user, um, different type of user research. And then you go to the design, um, design the product stage, where you actually you know, do all the development. Of course, the methodology you choose is, depends on different things, but generally you make this happen, right? <clears throat> Um, there's this time of testing, adding some more, evaluation, what went wrong, what is okay, what needs to be done. For example, when you have a typically, say, conversion type of case, you will create a product or an, a functionality, then you will have uh, well, implementation, and then you see what turns out. Of course, based on for example, statistics or testing, like A-B testing, you can improve the results. So this is the evaluation state. And uh, it can be uh, made in rounds so that you constantly uh, generate newer, newer ideas and improve the state of the product. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here are some ideas, let's say, 
marketing people will know this and this will be like, oh, well, common knowledge. But uh, not very often, especially startups, in Poland we have this thriving community of startups, um, they, they not necessarily think about ideas before they start. Of course, thinking too much and not doing is, is not as well, but well, you have to consider some things. Um, for example, when you think about your customers, you have a set of notions. Who makes a decision? For example, if I create a website, who makes a decision what kind of website it will be, what they need, etc. And who is the recipient? Not only the recipient uh, for us, for me as an implementer, but for the customers. This is just like this value-based um, pricing um, on the other presentation uh, the first day. So you do the research about the customer and customers, customers, customers needs, right? Not your customer, but your customers, customers. <coughs> the users, the, the totally end users. <coughs> of course, from the position of developer, uh, it will be a bit different. I will tell it in a second. So what's the juice, the wealth, what's the scale? and how to approach the, uh, the environment, etc. So you, you, you start thinking, yes, analyzing the, the environment. For example, for me, uh, I had to think about, uh, well, the case study I will be talking about in the end is a set of schools, non-public schools. So I had to think, hmm, schools, private or, uh, let's say, public schools. Uh, so paid money is paid directly uh, by people or in taxes, right? So there are different rules and, and things that vary. Uh, commercial type, uh, so in my case it was schooling, yes, education. Uh, scaling, different sizes, spread, it's like how wide can you go with this project, yes? If you want just a website, no functionalities, you know it's that wide or, or it's narrow. Uh, if you see that there are some APIs to be uh, used, some bridges, different, uh, let's say, points of, of the system, then it's quite wide. Um, and, um, okay, so I have this idea, I don't really know if it's you know, valid, that there are these uh, people, core developers of Joomla, then we have those extension builders, then we have implementators like me, and then we have the, let's say, end users. But it changes uh, depending on who the, the main, let's say, start is. So for example, for core developers uh, who are like community style group, open source, uh, so they might not think about money all the time when it comes to developing the system, Joomla. Um, everything is like community driven and this, uh, Ide ideologist, maybe, maybe something like this. Then I thought about uh, people who build services around Joomla. So let's say extension developers and template builders, uh, especially template club builders, right? So they are like private, so they are businesses, but they still have this uh, community scent. Yes, they, they try to, let's say, uh, give something back to the community, but on the side, make money from additional services. And then you have people like me, so they might be one, one person company, self-employed or whatever, so there's this boss, they are, uh, let's say, um, private run, so money needs to come uh, somehow, yes, from customers. Uh, scaling, I'm thinking up to 10 people, and then you have, um, well, they, they shouldn't be the first point who, st like the first group of people who starts thinking about customers. This is like the scheme. Yes, the people like, the people who use the services built with Joomla. Uh, and all of these stages, people on all of these stages, in my opinion, should do their own research a bit, yes, think about who
schools like the, the next uh, group under them and keep in mind some you know things they might need and well community style is great because it integrates all those uh, let's say groups and um, okay so generally it's about satisfaction because satisfaction is part of let's say good user experience um, and I found out uh, there was this um, research about measuring satisfaction but it was in some public services and it turns out there are five well it turned out there were five areas um, which which measure satisfaction yes yeah? so different points different stages of, of project the final outcome so what what was the final product um, Initial wait is the time of, let's say, waiting for, uh, for example, help desk response or response of the system. Uh, accuracy and, well, information. So this is like communication. If the customer knew what he will get, uh, what uh, to do to achieve what task, etc. Uh, competence of, uh, let's say, people who are in the company who are like help desk and and uh, workers um, who contact the customer and uh, the staff attitude in general so these were uh, the let's say the notions which came out in this research uh, this, uh, these percentages are the percentages of the whole which within the results so 30 people said that the, the the product is uh, let's say the most important in case of when you measure satisfaction mm, do you know this guy who knows this guy great um well jacob nielsen is like the guru of the first to talk about user experience or usability which is part of user experience and we have uh, had a lot of, you know, um, notions and ideas from him. From, for example, ten heuristics. Uh, these are the topics you can uh, do research on later. Um, the most important things, uh, when it comes, when I, what I think and what is repeated on on such presentations, is like the product product usability can be, let's say, talked about using such notions as learnability. So for example, when I encounter the product for the first time, is it easy to learn, easy to manipulate? Efficiency, what can I achieve with little steps in the beginning and maybe later when I have full command, what can I do with it? Memorability, for example, I, I don't know, I get sick, three months later I come back and I have to use the tool again. Will I remember what it does, what its functions give me, and how it works, how it operates? So when you come back to, to the tool, is it still, you know, usable to you? Errors, how errors are, let's say, tackled if, if errors are, in general, you know, totally crash the system, or maybe you just get an alert or something like this. And satisfaction, this is the uh, notion from the previous slide, it's like how how content you are or how happy you are when you're finally the master of the tool, the product or service, and you get what you wanted and, and you know, the final outcome, the, the overall satisfaction. So the five notions by Jacob Nielsen, which, uh, you know, describe usability of a product. Um, and and uh, like, user experience, um, let's say, um, set of ideas. You could write them down and you know, read about them later. Uh, inf information architecture, visual design, functionality, usability, typography, user interface, content strategy, and interaction design. This is more into like graphic design, but uh, I'm sure you can take some of the notions onto different levels in different products. Okay, uh, another nice idea when it comes to uh, creating services 
is customer journey. Customer journey is the way the, the person needs to take in order to use the product in full. For example, if it's about sending package, it would be coming from home, yeah, it's like walking out from home until the package is, let's say, until the person who sends, the sender, gets an information that the package has been uh, delivered. Yeah? So the total scope of the product or of, of, a, of a service. And it can have different touch points. Uh, so the critical elements of such service. Uh, when it comes to sending a, a parcel, it may be like uh, a stamp or a package, um, actually sending it, and then, I don't know, waiting for some news, maybe an SMS or whatever. So different critical touch points within the, the whole journey. Customer journey, very nice term to think about when you're planning some services. Okay, so now we are uh, slowly going into this uh, case study. Um, so generally, uh, I think uh, getting to know the customer is crucial, his or her needs, and the environment. By the way, what's the movie here? From what movie was it taken, anyone? Equilibrium. That's very nice. Movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, so coming back to the structure, Joomla core developers, I hope, think about Joomla services builders, which I hope are thinking all the time like implementators, so that our services are great to each other, right? And I hope to create great solutions to my customers, people, right? Um, Okay, uh, this is a quote, in some ways we are customers to each other, only in some cases money is not the currency. Uh, well, someone said that. And uh, so we have this customer and he needs tools to achieve something, right? Um, in this, let's say, journey of creating a perf maybe not but a great product or a service, we need to get to know these needs and goals and, and the environment the customer is operating in. So I hope that all these notions will be or are at some point important to all the people within this chimney you know, of, of service, of Joomla services. And here's the, the more psychological part. Uh, because from some time I started underlining this people are different idea. Um, especially when I started working as, let's say, an expert with people with whom I worked as, for example, a teacher. And now, oh, he's not one, one of our colleagues from work. He's not another teacher. Now he's like the, the main webmaster. So this changed a lot in our, let's say, um, attitudes and the way we cooperated and uh, this part is all about that so generally people are different and i don't mean the race yes or the um, let's say differences in, in uh, i have glasses and you don't etc uh, this is far more deeper uh, because it's about personalities about styles of learning and well everyday life you all know, know well, uh, left, right hand. I was surprised it was like Mercedes-Benz commercial. Uh, I didn't know that before I was preparing for this presentation. But it's something about such differences, left and right uh, hemisphere of brain. So from such division, we know we may know a lot about people who we are conduct, uh, contacting with or talking about ideas or our customers. Um, in case of, uh, say, product development, we come in, or I as an implementator, come in with some tools to customer environment. Yes, a customer has some goal. In order to achieve this goal, he needs to do some tasks. 
and there is some effect. And I come with Joomla to a company who need, which needs a, a nice website, right? For example. Uh, and I hope, for example, Joomla extension developer will think about me as an implementator who wants to, I don't know, create websites and he needs some kind of uh, extension in order to have some effect. Um, there's this uh, empathy thing, which was uh, also mentioned on some other um, presentations. So this is like the here and now of our customers. So we never know who's, who's behind the desk, who's behind, who's talking on the other uh, end of the, of the phone. Um, and this is something I think about when I'm thinking about a new customer, when I'm talking to this guy or a lady about the new website or their problems after I've implemented the website. You can have different people, different problems, at different state. So they need some, they have a problem to solve. And you have got the tools, and you will solve the problems. And there are some notions to uh, talk about, like perception, memory, especially uh, short-term memory, which is like, in general, it's all like brain uh, CPU. Uh, so we need resources, we need processes in order to make things done. Uh, making decisions, thinking, and attention. Attention is something I would like to talk about um, because, it's, in my opinion, it's like the primary thing you need when you're contacting a customer and then, let's say, supporting the person. And so you have this effort. Effort is like taking the energy out of body, uh, which creates concentration. And out of this, uh, you have task components and performer components. And these are like very sex things, but generally it's about the idea that the state, the current state of organism, if the person is sick or I don't know, it's hot or the person is worried about something at home, uh, the current state is this here and now, and effort, concentration are like the basic things in this state, this here and now. So uh, let's say, speaking normal language, it's like remember that different people have different states of here and now, different effort because of the state, and different concentration, and there are a lot of different things going on in the brain. Uh, of course, we have senses. So when it comes to very specific examples, you can, the customer may have some problems, some impairments, or things like that. Always remember about such conditions, right? You never know who's on the other line of the telephone. Um, and here's a bit about attention. Attention is how we actively process specific information uh, in our environment. Yes, yeah? so things which distract us, and the, there's, there are the main things and uh, secondary things, etc. Uh, social facilitation is a great idea, especially for uh, for the stage where you you give support or educate people, or you let's say tutor from uh, doing something in Joomla the system. Uh, social facilitation is the term which describes the fact that um, when the person learns something new, it's best to, to learn it like uh, in a smaller group or one-on-one -on -one or somewhere like in the corner. When the person has mastered something and wants to show off, sort of show off, uh, it's better to have a larger audience. So uh, learning new things it's like one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it was especially a case when I uh, used to uh, teach uh, my fellow, let's say, teachers at school how to manipulate Joomla, and then I had to take them out from the, from the, I say, lion's den, the, the teacher's room, so that we could work one-on-one, -on -one, not like all together. Social facilitation, the kind of task and the kind of environment, a lot of dependencies. Mm, other terms is like arousal, emotions, motivation, 
attention memory mistakes. Uh, so these are the processes and different notions of, of psychology with, which correspond this user experience stuff. So you take into account some things from psychology in order to you know uh, have this way with the customer, the proper way. I, I say UX design way because it, it goes beyond this normal job it takes more, more of the environment and now it's a part um, of my presentation uh, given at Joomla Day 2013, I talked about my implementation of Joomla uh, in a set of schools, private uh, schools this is the primary school I used to be a teacher in. Uh, I used to be a teacher of English, ICT English, English IC, ICT in English, and things like that, like ICT plus English. And, and here, um, well, there was the situation that they had uh, Mambo, right? And um, there was Zoom 1.0, and of course the the, the ideal uh, solution was to create everything from the scratch. And I did that. And here's this a short story of that. So the reality. Um, in the beginning, I said something about like doing research on the environment, right? So the reality there was eight non-public schools under one hood. Ten websites. Why ten websites? Who knows? Eight entities. Ten websites. So two of the schools, sub-schools, had to have English and Polish version. And after you know, analyzing everything, it turned out that one instance of Joomla and two language versions would not work. So that's why it's like 10 websites, 8 schools. Uh, three locations, Trumiasto region is like three cities. Uh, it's Gdańsk, Sopot, and Gdynia. And they have schools in Gdańsk, uh, off of the part of Gdańsk and in Sopot. So I had to keep that in mind that whenever I create like a, a meeting, I have to keep it in mind that people different areas will have to come. So it's timing and location and things like that. Six color variants of the template, red, green, blue, blue version two and orange, brown. So each school had this uh, main color and that's why the templates had to be colored in such way. This is the simple, uh, simplistic way to, to talk about it. Extensions, multimedia, banners, and Google Maps. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, fortunately, uh, there weren't so many extensions to, to migrate from Mambo, and some of the sites were um, Joomla 1.0. Uh, implementation in years 2006 and 8. And then a big project of upgrade 1 to 1.5 to 3.0. About 30 people in the project from top level up to my own level. Uh, cleaning and preparing for redesign is hope that this great customer will want a redesign and a response template in the future. I'm working on it. I mean, like, I'm working on the customer wanting this. Uh, the structure, so I have to think, oh, oh my god, this is a huge set of schools. The foundation, and then we have Gdańsk schools and Sopot schools, three levels each, and then there is uh, International School of Gdańsk and International Preschool of Gdańsk. Different needs, different levels, but well, more or less the same pattern, because it's all education, and I'm starting, start, starting to think like, Oh, functionalities, what will they need? Chain of command is, uh, it's nice to know who's in charge and why and who to talk to to, you know, tackle problems with people who are, let's say, a bad word, but lower. Uh, so there is the chairman and then we have directors and vice directors and the same, uh, let's say, pattern for each school. Mm, okay, so they needed tools and resource, and they have some resources. So we have people, but we need to have things to be done. Uh, so generally, I took and I called it action professionalism. So you don't use free 
faulty software, you use free good software, let's say, uh, for example, Joomla, right? Um, open source, um, petty software like, like rising image, yes? So that the person just um, changes the folder, clicks resize, and then photos, resized photos come out. There's no thinking, just, you know, oh, I need to resize a gallery. Click, and it, it's done. Important decisions to be done. Uh, getting the customer familiar with external services. So it was like, okay, so let's talk about uh, hosting. Oh, we have hosting somewhere. Okay, but we need to talk about how many sites will be there. Yes, the sources we need. So this was like a whole new idea to present in terms of hosting, domains, generally IT services. Clearing current problems, for example, inline styling, Yes, or some IT specialist somewhere said that something, yes, etc. Updating and migrating, this is like the, the last um, or the, the, new, the freshest task, migrating and, and upgrading. Um, okay, so I had to think about their goals. I had tools. I was uh, sure I will find tools they need. Just a normal day at school is, uh, for example, a school talent show. So delegating tasks, who will take photos, who will write a report. Scripting, this is like, um, maybe not my idea, but I thought, oh, let's do some, something like scripting. And then it turned out uh, useful when creating uh, a manual. So for example, scripts for uh, a secretary it's not like batch scripting. It's scripting like you will get photos from organizer of the something. Two, use program, the name of the program, to resize photos. Three, use FTP client to upload something. Yes, it's like short five, seven points of, of something, of some task. It's, it was called scripting. Uh, so the effect, a multimedia report on the website, so everything done was the effect. When it comes to working with the customer, I had such levels. <coughs> so first of all, you talk, okay, so chairman, we need new websites, okay. Lower level meetings, so directors, and there's this tension starting to building up. I don't know if you know this, but... Uh, some some institutions who have had something for many years, they say, oh, let's not change it. Yes, oh, they are thinking about some changes again. Yes, 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 this is, <laughs> that's right. Uh, so you need some magic, right? Like, oh, with this new system, you will be able to have everything wonderful, yes? And individual meetings, like this social facilitation, you, you need to know when to, uh, let's say, talk to the group and when to individuals. Um, my, uh, let's say, view is the higher the position, uh, the amount of contact as time of the project goes on is lowering. So the chairman, the beginning, maybe in the middle and at the end. And then the, the whole staff is like from top, uh, more often in the beginning, and then you go down, down, down to like real hard work in the end. Uh, after six years, the situation is we have an efficient uh, system. <coughs> so the scri these scripts, efficient data flow scripts. So uh, even if we have a change in a position, a new secretary comes in, gets like scripts, calls me or I come and do, we do some one-on-one, -on -one, you know, tutoring. Uh, clear system of dependencies and responsibilities. This, this one was crucial here, so that after one week there's no report on some very important thing, and, oh, who had to do that? Oh, where, is the, where are the photos? There are no, virtually no such cases. Everyone knows what to do and when and how and with what tools. Uh, my role now is like overseer or supporter, yes? If they have a problem, they email me or call me. Okay, some thoughts. Um, I will just list them here in one slide. Oops. 
so do the research before you start. Um, analyze, develop, test, and then again, analyze, develop, test. Yes, constant, constant improvement. Differences, remember about people's differences, yes? Uh, it's not a matter of race anymore. We are all like equal and it's great. Now it's deeper, yes? You, ha you can have a bad day. Yes. Experiences and knowledge is incredibly important when you're talking to especially high level people. You, you say, oh, on this conference I presented this, right? And then it's like, your mana is very high and you can you can have a set justified rules this is the point you explain that should, something should be like your idea because it works it really works yes yeah? so when you have a portfolio of success then it's wonderful uh, stereotypes versus patterns so stereotyping is bad patterns are like thought over scripts for people, yes? Yeah? So when you think a secretary, oh, she will do this and that because this is her role, right? So you don't think about, oh, this is kind of person which uh, doesn't do that. Yeah, so you don't stick to, uh, let's say, personal um, abilities, you stick to the role, goals and achievements the person needs to have. And speak the language of the recipient, it's like, Try not to be too of, too much of an expert when you don't need it, because they they will probably know you're an expert. Yes. Uh, okay, so this would be it. Uh, if you're interested in work, here's my portfolio and some some ideas. My email and uh, well, you can contact me on Twitter. Uh, I, I hope this presentation gave you some idea on how we are trying to do it in maybe, I don't know, around the world, possibly, because we try to take what's best from different methodologies, especially the UX design methodology. Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, there was...